guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kehila RK, and in this video, I am crocheting a chunky sweater. Okay, so I came up with this sweater, and I'm writing a pattern for it, okay? I came up with this sweater because I was just looking through the patterns that I wrote, and I was like, okay, wait, huh, I'm kind of short right here. Let me, let me sit up. All right, there we go. And I was like, hmm. I don't have a chunky crochet pattern. And I was like, I need to fix that. So here I am working on a chunky crochet sweater. Let me show you what I have done so far. So I have this one sleeve done so far. This is what it looks like. And I'll show you guys the yarn after I show you this. So this is what it looks like. So nice, nice and chunky. I'm not a fan of chunky stuff, but I do do it. Yeah. All right. And I am, that's all I have like solidly completed. And I'm working on the second sleeve right now. So I just have one sleeve done, starting on another sleeve. And this is the yarn that I'm using. I am using three strands of Drops Air, you guys. Drops Air Mix, which is why it has like this, what is this? So it has this like white, whiteness to it. <laughs> so three strands of this. I don't even know if I have enough yarn. I just bought a bunch of yarn and was like, I'm going to crochet chunky and boom. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys for this intro. I'm using an eight millimeter hook and I'm using this one specifically from Furls. It's so cute, I just, I love it. Was this Andromeda or something? I don't know, but it's like my favorite style that they have. And yeah, now that is all. So I'm going to start crocheting this and the link to the pattern should be down below for you guys because by the time I'm done with this video and by the time you guys see it, you know, that means the sweater will be done and a pattern will be done. So check the description box down below if you guys want to check out the pattern and let's get it. guys I don't remember last time I filmed for this video honestly it's been a while and I also don't remember if I told you guys that I finished the sleeves and the back panel and that I'm starting on the front panel not sure but I'm telling you now I finished the back panel and the sleeves and now I just have the front panel to do so how many I don't know how many balls of yarn I used so far let's see I use 15 balls so far. How many balls do I have left? I'm not sure. But I think I will have enough to finish this project. I should have enough. 
fingers crossed but I'm gonna start on a front panel today I do have a lot to do today and my camera is crooked but I don't care but we are going to make progress in this project okay okay so it's 8 a.m. right now I'm just gonna work on this project all day am I gonna work on another project today? I don't, I'm not sure but this will be the main project that I'm working on today because I really 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 want to finish it especially since spring is coming up and I want to start working on my spring crochet project so yeah let's just get it Alright guys, this is the front panel. As I said before, it's gonna be kind of like crappy, like crappy chunky, you know? So, yeah. Anyway, I've done the first side decrease, now I just need to do this side decrease, and then I'll be done with all of the panels and I'll be able to put them all together. Anyway, okay, let's get it. I am done! with all of the panels, the sleeves, everything. Look at Malika's little yarn stash, by the way. Anyway, so, oh my gosh, you guys, it's been months. It's been months, oh my gosh, of procrastination and I'm finally done with all of these. So we have the front panel, we have the back pan, this is the back? Yeah, the back panel. And we have the sleeves. Now it is time to put them all together. I need to get my stitch markers and, you know, put them all together and then slip stitch them. So let's do that right now. I can't believe that I'm finally here. <sighs> All right, guys, so I have it all like pinned, so I just have to like sew it all together and stuff. But I just want to read for tonight, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow and finish it tomorrow. So, yeah, it's still gonna be earlier than I expected, and I have enough time to edit this video, post like schedule this video, and yeah. I love when I'm ahead of the schedule, like, it feels so great. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
I'm done, guys. I put it all together. And now it is time to put it on. I decided not to do anything for this because it just has like a natural, like a natural neckline. So I'm gonna put on this crop top and see how it is. Guys, this is what it looks like. I took pictures, go on my Instagram because pictures are there. But I guess you can see a little. Here we go, nice and croppy. The sleeves, oh my gosh, reach my wrists, which is what I wanted it to do. And yeah, this project is done, guys. It's done, hallelujah. Oh my gosh, it took me months to crochet a chunky crop top because I did not want to pick it up. I don't know the next time I'm doing a, I was gonna say crunchy, <laughs> a chunky crochet anything. But I'm just glad I have this done. I need to write the pattern now. I have it written down in my like notes app, but I need to like put it in my little document so that you guys can have it. But it should be linked down below. If it's not, it will eventually. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little journey of me crocheting this top. Now it is time for crop tops, more crop tops, except smaller hooks okay i'm ready to use my four millimeter and 4.5 millimeter hooks and when i tell you i'm about to start on like a crochet project as soon as i'm done filming this and editing this and stuff like that i am so excited it is time for spring it is time to prepare for summer and it's going to be exciting because i'm going to be recreating my patterns that i made last year it's gonna be so exciting. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you crocheted or knitted or sewed or whatever during this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell because it'll notify you whenever I post another video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. That's where you'll see pictures of me and this and other pictures of my yarn and any updates on my yarn and projects. And I'll see you guys in the next one.